Hello, my name is Caroline and thanks for joining me for this video. In this video, we are setting up an Android display mango mirror. Now, your first question is probably, what is a mango display magic mirror? Well, if you saw my previous videos, I will link to them below. I did a whole series on magic mirror without the mirror where I created a display that had your time, day, weather, and your calendar and some nice background pictures. Now, I can do that with an Android device without any coding whatsoever. Let's get started. Let me show you a quick demo of what this looks like. And this is an old Android phone that I'm not using that doesn't have a SIM card anymore that is just connected via Wi-Fi. This is a great project if you are somebody who recently upgraded from a Android device to an iPhone device. I know I personally did that and I've turned my old Android device, which is on Wi-Fi only, into a scrolling mango mirror. And what we have on here is we have a quote, we have my Twitter feed, we have my calendar, we have the time and the weather and we have the news of my choice. And it just continually scrolls through all of these screens as I have set them up on my iOS device. For this project, you will need a iOS device, I, preferably an iPhone, but I believe if you don't have an iPhone, I believe this will work on iPad as well. I'm gonna do the setup on iPhone, and then you will need an Android device that is working and is not your primary phone and is on Wi-Fi and you will just leave this up as a display. The way I'm using it right now is I've got a little tchotchke phone stand. It works landscape or portrait. I will link to a phone stand. If you don't have a phone stand, I get these at conferences for free all of the time, so you probably do as well. Or you could 3D print a phone stand. I've done that as well, but you would just leave this up and this would just be, or you can mount this to the wall or your refrigerator or something somehow and you could just leave this on all the time and it would be a smart display for your home. And then you use your iPhone as the controller. Now, first question is probably, can I do the vice versa? If I have an old iPhone I'm not using anymore, can I use the iPhone as the display screen and use my Android as the control screen? As of the recording of this video, I would say no. Uh, I went to their website and it clearly states that you need a iOS device to control an Android device, but they could change this in the near future. I don't know, I don't represent Mango Mirror. These views represent me, Caroline Dunn, on my YouTube channel and do not reflect the opinions of Mango Mirror. Just a quick disclaimer there. What we're gonna do is we're going to download a control app for our iPhone and download a display app for our Android device. And with our Android device, I'm gonna hit Play Store and I'm gonna search for Mango Mirror. And here it is, Mango Display. I will select that and I'm gonna hit Install. And I'm gonna let that install. Now for my iPhone, I'm going into the App Store and I'm gonna search for Mango Mirror. And it is right there, I'm going to hit Open, but if I hadn't already downloaded it, I would have hit Install. Hit Open. And then on my Android device, I have now installed Mango Display. I'm gonna hit open. And I'm going to allow, and it has a display device code, and I'm ready to add it using my iOS app. So now I'm here on my iOS app, and I need to log in. If this is your first time using it, which it probably is, and you would go into the sign up page and sign up for an account. It is free to sign up for an account right here. I'm gonna just log in. And I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to add a magic mirror. I'm going to hit add and it gives me three choices. Mango mirror, smart mirror, mango OS on Raspberry Pi or mango display on Android app. Now the first option, mango mirror, smart mirror is what they're actually trying to sell. It is a $400 mirror and you can purchase it on their website, you can purchase it on Amazon, there are other places I'm sure you could purchase it from. $400 for mirror is a little bit outside my personal budget. I am not going to be able to cover that in this video uh, due to uh, just simply due to the budget constraints that I'm under. So I'm going to hit Mango Display Android app. That's what we're setting up today. And it's going to search. And I think it found it. It says New Mango Display. I'm going to hit plus, And then I need to rename the display. Now, 
uh, in looking at their documentation online, you're supposed to put the the room that this is going to be in or something something so you know it's this device. I'm going to type in Android. I'm going to say that is my that's what I'm going to name it so I know I'm talking to the Android device. And then let's see the two codes do match. I'm going to hit next and let's see if I can um, now and it says it's successfully registered and now I see this device already changing and hopefully it is loading uh, the first screen, the initial screen of my Mango mirror. And now we have our Android display working. As you can see, this is the default setting. It has the time and the date right here. And then on my iPhone, I can configure the fields as I choose. Now, first of all, I can add, let's say weather. I'm interested in weather. I'm going to hit today's weather, 24 hour weather and five day weather forecast. I'm going to hit save. And now you can see that I still have the time and it's configured exactly as I've shown it on my iPhone. You can see I've got the current weather, the 24 hour weather and the five day forecast right here on my screen. Now let's say I want to add more information. I'm going to hit the plus button in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to hit add screen and let's see what I want to add to my screen. I want to add my Twitter and I am going to show my show the tweets in my Twitter feed. I'm going to hit save. Let's see how that works now. And also um, the screen display time. You can also set that up so it so that when it flips the screen, it does it in the amount of time that you want it to go. I'm going to I'm going to choose something really short, like five seconds here. And that way it doesn't stay on one screen for too long. And I'm just showing you this for demo purposes. Plus again, and let's say I'm not interested in Twitter anymore. I'm going to hit the delete button. I'm going to hit delete Twitter. I'm going to hit add screen. Let's see what else I can add here. I can add quotes. Let's say I'm interested in some inspiring quotes and some funny quotes. I'm going to hit save. And now I am going to see quotes on my screen. And I'm going to, and here it is. Rodney Dangerfield. I'm going to hit the 30 seconds again. You can do, um, I'm going to hit five seconds, I'm going to hit apply to all screens. I'm going to hit done. And then everything will change uh, pretty quickly. I can hit plus and then I can hit add screen and then I can choose, let's see, my calendar. Let's say I want to have my calendar and my reminders. I'm going to hit save. And now You'll see the first screen for five seconds, and then my calendar should show up here. We hit save. Did I save? Yes. I hit save. Got quotes, and then I've got my calendar here. Now I can hit plus again. Let's say I don't want quotes anymore. I'm going to trash that. Okay. I've got calendar. Let's say I don't want my calendar anymore. I'm going to trash that add screen. Let's try something else. Let's try notes. Now this was really interesting. You can add a note and you can say the title of the note is dinner and then you can put dinner will be at 6 p.m. includes chicken. So dinner will be at 6 p.m. and includes chicken. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit save again and now as we see this, this play spin around you'll see Dinner will be at 6 p.m. and includes chicken. Uh, so if this is like a bulletin board on your refrigerator or when you walk in the door, uh, your family, significant other kids will see this as they walk in the door. This is something you can change remotely without any coding whatsoever. So this is pretty amazing that you can make all of these changes without any terminal commands, without knowing any coding. And then I can, I can if I want to delete the, the chicken note, I will hit delete and then hit save. And then now we'll go back to the regular screen of our clock and the weather. And you can also add some nice background images as well. So let's see background and their mango backgrounds, unsplash background, uh, Google photos and Apple photos. I'm going to hit save and now you'll see a nice uh, beautiful picture behind the screen, which is very nice. I like that hit plus. Um, let's see, news. News is huge. So you can have several news sources on one page or just one news source. So let's say I like BBC News and BBC Sport. And we hit save. And now this will go back. And now you'll see BBC News and BBC Sport. So you can configure this to see headlines, 
of your favorite news sources. I thought that was very interesting. This was just a quick overview of the different functionalities with your Android device controlled by your smartphone without doing any coding. And it does work in portrait or landscape mode. I thought that was interesting as you can see here. So I really liked this project. It was a lot of fun. It was really easy to set up, no coding necessary. And if you're looking for something to do with your old Android devices, this is it. Thanks for watching. Join me next week. We'll do Mango Mirror with a Raspberry Pi, HDMI display, and a motion sensor. I'll see you next time. Please subscribe. Bye now.